What's good peeps? Thanks always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. We are on the streets of Havana. I don't know exactly where we are. I think we're in like the capital city area. Um, thank you to my cameraman, Kwame, getting some shots there of the Capitolio. That's the, the major government building in Havana. And it's kind of got this really cool mix of new and old, which I love. Um, it's beautiful. All right, let's talk boxing. Enough of that shit. Um, Alexander Usyk is now officially a heavyweight. Well, he's been a heavyweight, really, for about a year since, obviously, he beat Tony Bellew and then decided he would go up. Um, but it's been postponement, it's been injuries, it's been change of opponents. But we finally got to see Alexander Usyk as a big-time heavyweight on Saturday. What did you guys make of it? Um, some people not too happy. I don't know why. Um, I thought it was a very good performance from someone that's been out of the ring for a year and someone that is fighting a fully-fledged heavyweight in Witherspoon. Um, he got the job done. I think us in the UK, um, I think there's two differences of opinions. You've got the UK guys, and we've been lucky to kind of watch the progress of Usyk throughout the years, right? We've seen him against Gassiev, we've seen him against Bredis, we've seen him against Bellew. I feel like the Americans, and this is no disrespect to you Americans that watch your channel, maybe haven't watched him as the way we've watched him. So I saw an Alexander Usyk performance on Saturday. I saw a guy that goes through the rounds, go through the gears. I, I expected that. He did nothing that I didn't expect on Saturday. I thought it was just a very, very clinical and tactical performance. That's what he does. So um, I thought it was good. Um, if I had to score it out of 10, it's a kind of a six, seven out of 10. But this is Usyk, this is what he does and it was fantastic. And I'm happy, I'm very happy with the performance. Um, what he does do, unlike any other cruiser or heavyweight, he goes through the gears very, very quickly. I think we saw that against Tony Bellew. He went, in what looked like he was giving Tony Belly a chance, a lot of people said Tony Belly was in the fight, and then he quickly went off the gears. And that's exactly what he done against Witherspoon, kind of easing himself into the fight and then boom, boom, boom. And it's very, very difficult to stop that. Um, I don't know what next for him. Obviously, he is now mandatory for the winner of Joshua versus Ruiz. I don't think he fights that. I know he's saying he wants to fight that, and Eddie Hearn done an interview, I think, immediately after the fight, saying, yes, this is what we want. But I think for someone that's had a year out, I think he takes another couple of fights. I think he takes another couple of fights against guys in and around the top 20, top 30. Carlos Takam would have been a great um, one. Derek Chisora, maybe. If Derek Chisora comes through, David Price, another good one. These are fights that aren't very hard to make anymore. So I would like to see him in against someone big, someone strong, someone that comes to win. No disrespect to Witherspoon. He came in on very, very late notice. He didn't really come to win. He came there to take part, get paid. Chisora will come to win. Takam will come to win. Hunter rematch would be quite good at heavyweight. They had a good fight at cruiserweight. But he's here, people. He's here. A lot of people's words said things like, oh, but he doesn't have much power. You don't need power when you've got that kind of skill. You really don't. I think we've seen it with Tyson Fury. He's an elite boxer at a very elite level. So what he does is almost like he's chopping down a tree. He might not have that one punch that will take the tree down, but eventually you will fall because he starts to chop at you, starts to go to the body, starts to go to your chest, starts to really kind of pick his punches well, and eventually you will fall. What will happen though when one of the big guys hit him back? What will happen when he feels the power of a Joshua or, 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 or Deontay Wilder, he's called out Deontay Wilder? Those guys will land clean and it could be that. But I, I like it, I think it's a good addition to heavyweight class. I think he will cause problems, big problems. And I predict he will be a heavyweight world champion. I, I really do. This guy cleaned up a cruiserweight. He won't clean up a heavyweight, but he will beat a lot of guys. I mean, I'd make him favorite against an Andrew Ruiz, for example, those type of guys that have belts right now. So um, I'm happy. Again, solid six, seven out of 10 performance. This is a guy that's been out the ring for a year. Um, and now we finally have another name to add to this growing heavyweight division. We've got Joshua, we've got Ruiz, we've got Wilder, we've got Fury. We now have Usyk. And I'm happy that Usyk's here. Peace.